Hello, this is how to enable Suspend to Disk Hibernate on Ubuntu 25.04. This is Kubuntu 25.04, but the instructions should be the same. I searched on Google for the Arch Wiki Hibernate. This is the wiki page from the Arch Linux wiki. There's a Suspend to Memory, to RAM, Random Access Memory, Suspend to Disk, Hibernate. We're after this one, Hibernate. We need to have enough swap space such that the um, random access memory state is uh, has enough space to be saved uh, there to the swap space. There's a chapter for hibernation in here. We have a swap file. There's a EFI variable named hibernate location. We'll see if we need to set the kernel command line parameter resume. So let's take it step by step and we'll also search on Google for instructions on how other people have enabled hibernate on Ubuntu. I have searched on Google Ubuntu 24.10 Hibernate, so the previous generation, not 25.04, but 24.10. There's this Ubuntu handbook result. Let's see what it does. First of all, we need to increase the size of the swap such that it's larger than the random access memory size. That's the way I do it. So let's open a terminal, become super user. And see, so swap on says that there's a swap file named slash swap file. That's half a gigabyte in size. Three says that I have random access memory 32 gigabytes. So I need to allocate I don't know, 34 gigabytes to the slash swap file. Okay. Next up. Let's see what it does. So in here where it uh, allocates memory. First of all, we want to stop you stop having the swap file in use. So that's swap off slash swap file. Let's see that the slash swap file is um, present in slash etsy slash fs tab. And it's the this one slash swap file type swap default zero zero. Okay, we'll need to create a uh, large enough file. Let's remove the existing file. So we're copying from slash dev slash zero, which will return just one zero character. On zero byte to the file slash swap file and we'll do appending one zero from slash dev slash zero to the swap file a ton of times so block size one megabyte and count we need let's compute we need 34 gigabytes times So 1024, which is the number of megabytes in a uh, gigabyte. So this is the value for the count command line parameter to DD. 34816. So sudo DD IF dev0 OF slash swap file count 34816. Block size 1 megabyte. It's going to take a while. So DD has finished creating the needed file. So 
Okay. Next up, we'll want to set correct uh, chmod beats permissions for the swap file, which is chmod 600. So this part. Six hundred slash swap file. Then we want to create a swap uh, file system inside slash swap file. Make swap space slash swap file correct. Then we want to enable the swap file. If we reboot the computer, the slash swap file will be enabled because it's present in slash Etsy slash FS tab. Okay, 34 gigabyte, that's what we wanted. So a bit larger than the random access memory size, which is 32 gigabytes. Okay, we have slash Etsy slash FS tab. And then it says something about a kernel parameter, but then the wiki page says the kernel parameter is no longer required. So let's see what's the case for Ubuntu 2504. Okay, so either we specify the Hibernate location in the command line of the kernels, or we guess that we have a system D that's new enough. How can we prove this thing? So the minimum version is uh, system D255 and I seem to have system D257. So let's let's hope that this is the case. So the Arch Wiki says like this, if you're booting in UF, UEFI mode, not in BIOS mode, which is the case for me, and you have system D version 255 or newer, then when you run systemctl hibernate, system D will find a contiguous swap file or partition, which it finds, which is large enough such that the hibernate image can be written to. I have only one swap thing, which is the swap file. So system D will certainly pick that. It's large enough. It will save um, the random access memory state there. And then it will use the hibernate location EFI variable. When we reboot, system D will know to read from this EFI um, hibernate location variable. And then the this chapter 431 should not be necessary. If that's the case, then we don't need to do anything. So first of all, we're trying to not edit the Linux kernel command line. That means we're not editing the grub configuration files. We don't need to run update grub. But if uh, hibernation fails, to save the state or when we reboot a computer it will not resume from the state saved to the hard disk then we'll try the previous way which is using the grub configuration file for configuring the Linux kernel command line. So we can just go system CTL hibernate. So I have run systemctl hibernate, which did the correct thing, that is find enough swap space, write the system state there, and then it halted the computer. When I have started the computer, the boot sequence did not know that um, the, a hibernate state was saved to my hard disk. So this chapter 4.3, 
does not yet work out of the box on Ubuntu 2504 from what I can see. So I cannot prove that this part already works correctly, but I guess it's going to work at some point in the future by default on Ubuntu. For now, let's do the classical way, which is use the kernel parameter resume swap device. Let's see the current command line. So that's uh, slash proc slash command line. Root UUID. And we'll need support for specifying the Hibernate location. So for that, we use the command line, this one, file frag slash v slash swap file. Go to the very start of the output. And we want the first value inside the column physical offset. So this one. So I have placed in a text editor these number and then I also will need the UUID of slash partition for this thing. In my case it's available both in the slash proc slash command line and also in slash etsy slash fstab. This value. From this page we can see that we need to add two parameters to the Linux kernel command line. Let's copy the text. So it says resume equals and we could use a slash dev device name or we could use the UUID. The UUID is more stable. If you add more NVMe disks, maybe the you know, maybe the device number might name might change. But if you move your slash partition to a different NVMe drive or something. Resume offset is this number. Control V. So two command line parameters, resume equals UUID equals the correct global unique ID, then a space, resume offset equals, and then the number that we got from file frag. Let's um, continue. We need to edit this file. We're at the command line as the user root. We should use a text user interface text editor such as nano slash etsy slash default slash grub. Let's actually make a backup first. Control X. So that's copy slash etsy slash default slash grub to okay and now we can edit the file we We'll have a backup in case we edit incorrectly the file. We can always use the backup and rewrite the file that we have edited. Okay, grab command line Linux default, quiet splash, and then our command line parameters, which are these two resume and resume offset. Required splash, resume UID, resume offset looks okay. Control X to exit, save modified buffer Y, press enter. Next up, because we have edited the grub files, we will need to regenerate grub. So update grub. And let's try a second time systemctl hibernate. And that's it. 
hibernate saving the state to hard disk worked correctly. When I started the computer, the state of the previous boot has been loaded from the hard disk and a correct cycle of hibernate suspend to disk was working correctly. This should be it. Very simple to enable Hibernate in Ubuntu 25.04. But it, this procedure might become even shorter in the near future. Thank you.